but fundamental for keeping good voltage in your fences is having a good earthing system. The energizer is sending a current through the fence and that's the voltage that we, uh, we, that we measure. Um, at the same time it's relying on, on its earth to be able to supply the, um, the current to the fence line. When the animal contacts the fence it makes that connection between the, the fence which is live, it receives that current and transfers the current to the ground because that's the animals then completing the circuit between the earthing system and the live fence. So earthing is, is, is fundamental and it's really important. So materials we use, well, our earthing system, we need to use metal, but more importantly, something that's really conductive and it's not gonna corrode because rust is a, actually an insulator. So for in, say, just here, there's our demonstration setup. We're using a, a, a metal post with a nice profile and we've driven that one into the ground. Now, for the energizer we're using, that's a, a not, you know, that earth is in no way adequate. If we had to put the setup in permanently, we'd actually have three of those posts and we were driven those to a depth of meter and a half for each post. So as a rough rule of thumb for every joule of energizer output, we're looking for half a meter in the ground. And the ground that it's in needs to be damp. So if you're a farm or a site, which has got sandy or gravelly soil that dries out in the summer, you're going to need more earth posts and you're going to put them three meters apart and you're going to try and drive those as deep as you can, ideally up to 1.8 or 2 meters in some cases. Mm -hmm.